Okay, listen up, people. We're gonna play some Banished today, and it's gonna be awesome. I actually played this one like a year ago, and if you know me, you know that I like to put mods on it. Come on, it's 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 kind of boring without mods. Vanilla versions don't don't go well with me, so so it is what it is. And also, I'm gonna put this on hard, so bring it on, baby. And I'm gonna put a name. Let's name let's name it Tigram. And let's do a seed. And let's start. Let's go. I like how they do out of context stuff. Like they have milk on the cow. But what do you do when the cow doesn't have milk? Hmm. Okay, so now we start. So first things first, I'm gonna put this on pause and select my information tab, like my map right there. I think I have a bigger map than this. Let's see. Oh, that's a big one. That's what she said. Okay. So the event lock, we're gonna have there the professions, but I'm gonna need one single tab on vertical. Okay, so that's one. And the resource, uh, the, the resource limit. Yeah, that's one. And I'm gonna put some numbers in it first. Let me just see. Okay, so what the resource limit is doing, uh, it's kind of tricky, but it's actually very useful right from the beginning. Because let's say I want a maximum number, a maximum amount of resources to be brought in, in into the village. And then my laborers will stop bringing that resource and will go somewhere else that it's, uh, it's actually a need for them. So that's what it does basically. Plain and simple. I don't remember the interface being like that before I put mods. But I guess that changed. Okay, so I'm gonna put down two stockpiles that are more than enough for all the resources these laborers will gather. And oh, come on, that's two blocks. Well, let me just select this area. And right now everything that i selected they'll gather for me and put them in the stockpiles this is gonna take a while so i was checking out the edge of the map discovered the mountains that's cool and also we have three big lakes and also a central river this river is very important because we're gonna make some trades on it is the only way you can you can you can bring stuff into into the village and make trade with I mean with traders. So a very important step it's actually to plan ahead everything that you're gonna do in this uh, in this village. And also I'm gonna put down a market right now because around it you need to, to build your village. This is due to the fact that the market itself has a circle of influence, so Everything that's inside the circle, it will have priority. I think I'll need a storage barn. I don't know with the new mods how uh, the capacity of every single building was affected. But I think they'll need it. Just to put things inside it. So one of my main objectives is to not get my people killed. That being said, I will need to provide them with enough food and fuel to get through the winter and with the wood part I will need this forest to lodge to get enough logs in the in the village for them to be able to make enough fuel for all the all, all the houses that will be in this in, in the village and also this gator's hut will send workers in the forest to gather like roots berries every Every single thing that you that you find out there in the woods and bring them back in the in the storage barns for them to eat. So bam, two main objectives accomplished. And also I will need this um I will need this road. Uh, it's a dirt road, it's gonna do its job eventually. Uh, I just need them to, to move a little bit faster between buildings to do their jobs. If you ever get bored, just zoom in. And you'll be able to see a lot of details in uh, in this game. And also, 
trees are falling by themselves because of age in this game. How awesome is that? Come on, people, let's go. We need to work, work, work. Come on, come on. We need to get through all the stuff until winter arrives. So shake a leg. So I actually have two builders right here that are struggling to build this barn. Come on, man, what's wrong with you? You want me to pay you? You won't get paid. So go and work. Ooh, first building up. Thanks a lot. What can I say? Oh, it's so slow. Oh, look out, look out. This is the first house. Where I should place this? I guess right here. It fits. It works. Just in front of the market. And I also need a woodcutter. So this is the actual person that's taking the logs from the foresters and transforming it into into fuel. Every single house needs fuel to run, especially through the winter because it's very it's very cold, and they need to warm up. So yeah, it's very it's it's a very important job. Wait a second, this building didn't start being built. Hmm. Okay, so I actually need to increase priority on this one. Because I, I really need I really need food. Okay, so this is my biggest frustration now. I don't have enough people in the town to do necessary jobs for them to evolve. So I need to wait. So the only interaction that you have in this game with your people, it's actually just to follow them around. Wait a second. What's the name? Mary, how are we doing, Mary? You are educated, nice. And she collects a lot of stuff. Okay, bye for now, Mary. What else? Some buildings have their own capacity now. Interesting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I actually have a lot of spots uh, within the village that still have iron and stone on them so I, I really need to get rid of this ASAP and be able to to extend with the village what I actually want to point out over here it's the nighttime it's incredible right now you don't have in the vanilla one this cycle of day and night so seeing the night is actually one of the most peaceful things right now alrighty so another important thing to have in your village will be the actual blacksmith this one right here and I think I have the builders somewhere in town who knows uh, anyway you have in this village certain jobs that this job require specific tools those tools after after uh, after a time will get dull so over time you need actually to replace the old tools with new ones and you have two types of them whoa what what's with this reddish color is sunset well it's 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 cool so you have a level one tools and level two level two it's actually kind of difficult because I need some coal and I will need a mine for that I'm gonna build that later I just want to get rid of all the rocks around me. I'll need them eventually for construction. Oh, that's a lot of stone right there. Those are big patches of stone. I really need to get those in my stockpiles. <laughs> okay, so another important thing to have, it will be the tailor. This will provide people with good clothing, especially for the winter. It will be very useful. And also a school, because these people will produce, right? And they're gonna make newborns. So these newborns will become teenagers, and um, they only need to to get educated, just for them to, to do their jobs properly and not die, because they can actually die if uh, if they're not educated enough. If you're stupid, you can't do shit. So schools for everyone. Vote me president. So this is all the time that I had for this episode, hope you enjoyed, 
Don't forget to share and subscribe. And um, yeah, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.